Making music is like going to the gym. The more tools and exercises you master, the better your result will be. The more tools you master in FL Studio, the better your music will be. And that's why you will learn 15 tricks inside the playlist of FL Studio. Starting with number one, stretching your audio clips in the playlist can be done by enabling the stretch feature when resizing clips. With this one enabled, click and drag your sample to stretch it or make it play faster. By doing this, you'll also change the pitch of the sample. If you don't want that, trick number two comes in. Simply double click your clip and make sure the time stretch mode is set to stretch. There you go, it's that simple. Number 3. Sometimes you want to turn your MIDI pattern into an audio clip. To do that, right click the pattern in the picker panel and choose quick render as audio clip. Now the clip will appear here and you can drag it in the playlist. Simple as that. So you created a loop and you split the entire pattern into all separate patterns. This is useful, but what if you want to go back to your loop? If you select them and hit Ctrl plus G to merge them, you will get this error. To fix that, select all your patterns and drag them into the playlist. Then with all of them selected, hit Ctrl Ctrl plus G. This will create a new pattern which you can again open up in the channel rack. 5. Snap audio in the playlist. Sometimes you accidentally disabled the snapping feature and now it's extremely difficult to align your patterns. Well, to fix that, go to the magnet icon on top and choose one of the snapping options. I suggest you select snap to line. This way when you zoom all the way out, you can only snap to these lines which prevents you from accidentally misplacing your sounds. However, when you zoom in, more lines become visible which will help you to place the patterns more accurate. 6. Multiple arrangements. Let's say you like this arrangement, but you want to create a second version without throwing away this one. Don't create a second project, that's unnecessary. Instead, go to the arrangements on top and choose clone. Now you can create an exact copy. In here, you can make adjustments without worrying about the other one. Amazing. Number 7. Using markers. This is very useful to highlight parts of your song. To create them, move the player to the moment where you want to place a marker. Then hit Ctrl plus T. You can always right click them and rename them if you want. Of course, moving around the marker afterwards is also possible. You can also press Alt plus T on your keyboard. This will ask you to give it a name before the marker is being placed. That is super simple. 8. Making folders in the playlist. For small projects, this isn't necessary, but this is a lifesaver. Let's say you want to put all of your drums into one folder. To do that, select all the audio tracks with the drums on them. I always leave the 808 on top. Now right click them and choose group with the track above. Now you can close it up and keep it more organized. There you go. Number 9. This one is super simple. On top, right click and drag to create a selection. This part of your song will now be looped. Number 10. Advanced automation clips. In the playlist, you can double click any automation clip and adjust it way more in depth. This is extremely useful. 11. I will leave a link below for you guys with a free vault that contains more than 300 secret FL Studio tips. They are searchable and you will absolutely love them. Number 12. If you have two samples in the playlist, drag them into each other and a crossfade will appear. This is great for creating unique samples or perhaps a subtle transition from one track to another. 13. You can actually transpose any pattern in the picker panel by simply right clicking it and choosing transpose. Then type in whatever you need and there you go. Trick number 14. Creating automation clips even faster. To do that, open up the sample menu and choose automate. Here you can choose between panning or volume. Go ahead and adjust the automation clip and it's that simple. Number 15. Using the amazing AI chord generator. But you'll learn everything about it in the next lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.